This is Malcolm341. In today's video, we're going to look at what the user setup file is and how you can configure it to customize parts of Maya that aren't available in the settings and preferences, which can save you time. So let's get into it. Okay, so what is the user setup file? The user setup.mel is a special text file where you can put mel script commands that will run each time Maya starts up. This can be useful for a number of different things, but I like to use it to set some preferences in my scene that aren't available through the Maya preferences and settings window. The easiest way to describe this is just to show you how it works, so let's take a look. So to create the user setup file, you have to go to your documents, Maya 2020 or whatever version you're using, prefs, and then scripts. I'll just click here so you can see the path in its uh, correct form here. So in that folder, you want to right click and you want to come down to new, and then you want to go to text document, and then you want to type user, capital S, setup, and change it from .txt to .mel, M-E-L, hit enter. Sure, say OK, it doesn't matter. And that's how you create the user setup file. Now, any mel commands that you put inside of that text file will run every time Maya starts up. So I'm just going to go over into Maya here, and I'm just going to go to, let's say, the Create panel, and we're going to go to, sure, we'll make a cube or a sphere, whatever, it doesn't matter. Sure, let's make this 32 and 32. Let's make a radius of, so we can see it, let's do like 50 or something. And then I'm just gonna click apply. So we created the sphere, sure. And then I'm just gonna delete that. And then I'm gonna come back up to the crate and I'm gonna go back to the sphere and I'm gonna hold down control and shift and then left click, and that's gonna add it over here to my shelf. And if I right click and I choose edit, we can see the code that generates that sphere. So you can see polysphere, radius of 50, 32 by 32, blah, 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 blah. And to test that code, we can just come here. I don't need that object move part. I'm just gonna copy from here to here and just control C on the keyboard to copy, close that down. And you can come and you can paste it in here Control V to paste, and then you can press Enter on the numeric part of your keyboard on the numpad, and boom. So now we know that that piece of code creates a sphere with those properties. So let's go ahead and close Maya now. Close that down, whatever, don't save, doesn't matter. Wait 100 years for Maya to close. Okay, so now we're going to come into our user setup.mel, and I'm going to right click and I'm going to say edit this with Notepad. You could edit it with whatever text editor you feel comfortable with, but this is the one that I use that I really like. And that popped open on the other monitor, so I'll just bring that over. And as you can see, there is nothing in here. So I'm going to paste that code that we got from Maya. Okay, paste that in there. There we go. Okay. And then I'm just going to hit Control S or you can go File Save, whatever you want. Save that. Okay. So it's saved. I'll close this down. And then we're ready to restart Maya and see what happens. So just go to Programs and Launch Maya. Wait for that to load for 200 years. Okay. It's opening up. And you will see that nothing happened. And that is super confusing. The My Help Text says, oh, just put some code in the user setup and it's magic. And when you restart Maya, that code will run. And that's not actually the case. I think what's happening is Maya hasn't had enough time to load all of its commands. And so before it even knows what a sphere is or how to create it, it's already opened up Maya. And so you have to change your code a little bit when it's inside of the user setup to make it work at all. All right, so let's close Maya again. And then let's come back to our user setup.mel. Okay, and so what you need to do is you need to use a command called eval deferred. And I believe what that does is it defers running the command until all of the other stuff in Maya has like finished doing its thing. So basically it doesn't run the code too soon. So we have to convert this little bit of code here into a global procedure. So first we type global proc, and then we give it a name. You want to give it a unique name so it doesn't conflict with anything else. So I'm going to call mine M341 underscore sphere. And then you put round bracket bracket, and then enter and a curly brace. I'm just going to tab that in and then a close curly brace. And then you say eval deferred quotes then you give the name here, which is going to run it, sphere. And then I think we should be good. And then the semicolon or whatever. Uh, so just save this. And then let's try opening Maya again. Go back to programs, launch Maya, wait 1,000 years for it to load. Okay, here we go. And boom, there you go. And now your sphere appears every time that you start Maya. So you can go back into this file here and you can just duplicate this and you can put whatever code you want here that you want to run. 
And then you just need to change that name and this name here to match for each one. So basically what you'd want to do if you wanted to do a new command would be copy paste that, put it here, and then type whatever cube. Come down here, cube. And then put your command here, whatever you want to do. All your magic code goes there. So pretty cool, super powerful. OK, so now let's look at an actual practical example of something that you might actually want to do because nobody wants to make a sphere in their scene. So what I love having on in Maya and pretty much every 3D app that I use is I love wireframe on shaded. I love this feature. I turn it on in Unreal. I turn it on in Unity. I turn it on in Maya. I almost never turn it off. So I have always wanted to have this just be on by default. I actually assigned it to a hotkey because every time I make a new Maya scene or I open Maya for the first time, I immediately have to come up here and like turn it on. It's super annoying. And so I was wondering if there was a way where I could just put it in the user setup and just have it magically be on because as far as I know, this is nowhere to be found in the user preferences. You can't say on Maya start or on my new scene, just leave this on. And so I figured out how to do that. So let's take a look. Okay, so back in user setup. So I'm just going to delete all that stuff about the sphere. And then I'm going to copy paste a script, which I wrote earlier, which does what I want it to do. So I'm just going to paste this code in here. So this is going to turn on wireframe on shaded every time Maya starts or every time I open a file. So anytime I do a new scene, because what I found is wireframe on shaded defaults to off on new scene. So every time you open a file, create a new scene, do anything, it's always trying to turn itself off, which is super annoying. And to do that, we need to use something called a script job. And so what a script job does is it basically looks for a condition. And when that condition is true, it runs some code. So here we have my global proc of wireframe on shaded. And so here's my code. And then I have a script job here, which says, basically, on the event of scene opened, run this code, which is the global proc here. So run all of this stuff. So basically, new scene opened, old scene opened, Maya starts for the first time, it's opening a scene, it's going to turn on wireframe on shaded. And so if I put this big chunk of code into user setup and save that, and then launch Maya, and then wait 10,000 years for it to load. Okay, it's loading. Okay, I've got access here. Okay, and then oh, no, it's still loading. Okay, and we're going to make a sphere. And boom, there we go. Wireframe unshaded on by default. And now if I go new scene, don't save, make another sphere, automatically has wireframe unshaded. So anytime I have a scene open, wireframe unshaded is enabled for me automatically. So pretty cool. And then I could free up that hotkey that I was using. And also it was annoying to have to click the hotkey every time I did a new scene or opened a fresh Maya in the morning. So with the little script job code snippet here and the eval defer thing that we showed earlier before, you could basically kind of do whatever you want. You can uh, you can you can put any commands in there that you may want for your own version of Maya. It should just be as easy as kind of copy and pasting. And then one thing I want to note, though, is that script jobs are super dangerous because they run on an event. And you can put one in here if you want it to run once, which is a lot safer. But because I need it to run every time the scene is open, then it doesn't work unless I constantly run the script job, basically. This can like create an infinite loop and it can just spam your Maya with like a million commands per second until you can't even move the mouse. And it's hard to even like control alt delete outside of Maya. So just be super careful when you're creating a script job. If you're putting an event in here that you think is going to be triggered frequently, like it's always going to meet that condition as true, just make sure you've backed up all your work first. And, you know, if you really get stuck in Maya and you can't even start Maya or something, you can always just come in and delete the user setup and then restart Maya. And then all of that will go away if you get into that situation. I've been testing this particular script job for a couple weeks now, so you shouldn't have any problem. But if you start messing with what's going on in here and tweaking stuff, you might find yourself stuck in an infinite loop. So just watch out for that. Another thing I have in my user setup file is actually a fix for this annoying part of the MTK shelf. So every time you restart Maya, even if you leave the shelf like this fully maximized, when you restart Maya, it goes blah. And it puts it down just a little bit. And I don't know why. This is a bug that I reported to Autodesk. And it used to be worse. It used to put it down here. Now it puts it here. So they like fixed the bug 80%. 
But basically, in my user setup file, I have a little line of code that says, after Maya starts, maximize this window. So I don't ever have that stupid, annoying thing anymore where this is like a little bit down or whatever. So I would share this code in the video, except for I don't think it's going to work on other people's computers because they might have a different setup here of like width height and stuff. And so I've hard coded basically this window always comes at the same size. If this is something that really annoys you as well, I'm happy to share that code snippet in the comments or whatever. Just let me know because uh, it might not work. So uh, I, I haven't tested it that thoroughly, but I've been using it for about a week. And now that thing looks like this every time I restart Maya. So uh, it's just super powerful being able to use that user setup. Not sure why I didn't use it in the past. Thanks very much for watching this video. Without viewers like you, this channel would not exist. If you liked this video and enjoy the channel, please support me by purchasing something from the online store. Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad free. See you next time. Have a world-class day.